When foreigners go shopping for a rug on Kabul's Chicken Street, they aren't likely to ask whether a rug is made by a child or an adult. But TV Ashna asked some vendors, who does the better work? Kids from 10 to 15 years of age, whatever they produce is better than everyone else. A rug made by child labor is ugly no matter what it looks like. But part of the messaging is also that um, only skilled adult artisans can make a, a truly beautiful rug. And so that's true. The rugs that children make um, aren't as compli complicated in the patterns. Um, the knotting isn't as high quality. Um, and so they tend to be cheaper rugs uh, where child labor is involved because they're um, simpler designs and um, lower quality production. They sell at a lower price. Nina Smith leads the most beautiful rug campaign for the NGO Rugmark. Its goal, to end child labor in the handmade rug industry by reducing the international demand. In the U.S., it's against the law to employ children under the age of 14. The organization partners designers and retailers in the West with child labor-free rug manufacturers in Nepal and India. If Rugmark finds children working in any of the factories, they are placed in Rugmark-funded centers and schools or receive tuition to attend school near their home. But what closes the sale many times is the fact that Odegaard has a Rugmark label because people care about whether or not their carpet is made by children or not. The rugs on sale in this showroom are Rugmark certified to be child labor free. The Odegaard company's customers are looking for color, design and price, but it's the quality and integrity behind these rugs that sets them apart. Architect Travis Price is a customer who believes in Odegaard's child labor free mission. He's one of the over 30 percent of American consumers who consider social issues when they make purchases. And you, you don't want to exclude uh, a child, a, a, a 10, 15 year old child from learning a great craft and a great trade, but it has to be done as an artful economic development, understanding of what's going on in that culture and a preservation of culture, not as some abusive sort of uh, mill shop. And I think that fine line is the very fine line we all walk on, you know, restoring culture, but at the same time creating proper and reasonable and fair economic development. Rugmark's share of the handmade rugs sold in the United States is steadily growing. We also know that having the Rugmark on the back of Afghani rugs could help them in the market. Um, that is, provide more assurance to a potential purchaser of those rugs that they were made under good conditions. This different approach to weaving can enhance strong interest in Afghan rugs and lead to new opportunities and markets abroad. For VOA's TV Ashna, I'm Siri Nairop.